Hey everybody, Bass Junkie here with you. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, a DIY project for boat owners out there. Uh, I'm sure all of you can kind of relate to the problem of why I came up with this idea. And, and there are products on the market that um, you can buy with this same design. Um, it's just the price is ridiculous for just a few pieces of metal that you can hang your baits from. But that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna create bait hangers for our boat. And um, you know, I know there's, uh, again, a few companies out there, the Bait Bar, for instance, and uh, they have whole complete systems. But what I'm trying to accomplish is get rid of this. Everyone can relate to this. It is my box of lures that I have used during that particular day and I have I have tackle ADD and when I get done with something or if I want to try a new pattern then I throw the bait into this box problem is if you get any moisture in here and or if there's any hooks on in here that have rust then that starts to grow on the rest of it and you get really weak hooks and you'll start to lose fish and it's just a, it just becomes a problem and organization that's what I want to try and get better at as well so what I did was I just went to Home Depot and I purchased um, just these aluminum angle pieces it actually it came as one and what I did was I cut it in half it came as a 36 inch which is absolutely perfect because 18 inches across just fits nice into this compartment and I'll show you what I've already done this one right here for um, this storage box is going to be those ones that I want to hang on my bar here and I want to dry off uh, ones that again I'm just quickly switching out my tackle and I want to put that lure on here to dry um, what I'm making today and this is already completed so as you can see here these two bars are already installed, um, already hanging lures. I want to do that and just kind of test it, opening and closing really quickly to see how it holds the baits, and it's done really well so far. So this, again, is going to be for drying purposes. Um, what I'm making today for you guys, I'm going to be putting in my middle compartment, and that's going to be more of my... Actually, it's just going to be my jigs, so it's going to be for organization so I can quickly, if I lose a jig, I can open up this compartment and grab a new one. Um, so let's walk through how to uh, make this and uh, what you'll need. So again, you'll need just a, a one piece, 36 inch long um, of this aluminum angle iron. And it doesn't have any pre-drilled holes or anything that's that's the step that we're gonna have to do to uh, complete this project alright so for the next step um, all that you're gonna need is a nice drill uh, this is a Ryobi drill as you can see common theme with using these tools um, always been good to me but get a good drill uh, this is the eighth ounce uh, drill bit uh, you're gonna want to use the eighth ounce critical because it's, it's it's a size that is perfect to make these holes and I've already drilled the holes to save time but it's perfect to keep the hook in these holes and prevent it from falling out when you're running around the lake and hitting bumps and on the road and whatnot so it keeps the hooks and the baits in here nice uh, larger size you have a tendency to fall out so use the eighth um, I think I might have said eighth ounce but <laughs> eighth size drill bit um, and then the other thing that you're going to do is you're going to take, um, so as you can see here, I've already pre-drilled, but how I did that was, um, I took my tape measure and then just get it as level as possible, run it across that piece, mark each and every hole with your Sharpie and then go back and uh, drill each one out with your drill bit. Now, as far as um, the screws, here are the screws that you're going to want. Um, they are uh, 3 8 inch and then the size 8 stainless steel. Stainless steel is critical so you don't get any rust um, and so, and, or, or corrosion. So uh, they're going to 
you know keep these bait bars in place for years um, without any issues so that next step is going to be to drill the three holes to mount it into your compartment so what I'm gonna do here it's there's no science to this either I'm just gonna take this bar and I'm going to do one on the left one in the middle one at the end and then you're gonna want to take a little bit larger drill bit so in this case let's do um, I think this is going to be a quarter so take a quarter drill bit and then drill those holes out so you want a little bit larger so you can get that screw through it all right so that's how it should look all right so here's the final step so we have our bars drilled out so we got our smaller holes for the hooks along the bottom and then we have our three larger holes which we're going to use our stainless steel screws to actually secure it into our compartment lid so what I do is I, you know, I'm, I'm starting out with two I don't know if I'm going to want to add more but if I do I want to make sure I have enough room and as you can see on the Ranger boats and some of the other boats but um, there was a compartment here or a little slot here for a measuring board I'm just going to relocate that later. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I took that out for now. But I might eventually do bars all the way down here. So let's start at the top with these two and then work our way down. But what you do, um, the material on these lids is pretty soft, so you don't need to pre-drill. Just make sure you get it lined up with a little mark, which I have already done. Uh, start with your middle so you have a nice secure um, screw in there and then you can just wiggle it around and get the ends but you don't have to pre-drill um, just get your drill with a uh, Phillips bit in it and then start the drilling and make sure um, you know on the second one that you have enough space in between to hang and so your jigs or whatever lures you're going to use on the top bar don't overhang on the second one so just space it out enough and this one for instance I did about four or five inches um, just to be safe so that's probably what I'll do again on this one so let's get to the action alright everyone so we have the two bars installed now on the center compartment and I just put a few jigs on the top bar to see how the spacing looks but what my intent is, I'm going to do the do uh, top bar, excuse me, as my dock jigs or, um, you know, my lighter, maybe flipping and arky jigs. But then um, the lower one's going to be more of my heavier flipping jigs. So uh, it's nice to have those multiple bars so you can distinguish the types of jigs from each other. But I wanted to see the spacing. It looks like, again, four or five inches is going to be really good. Um, but if you've liked uh, what you saw today, uh, please uh, like and subscribe as I will be doing more DIY projects. I'll be doing my bass videos, uh, my, my normal vlogs that I've been doing already, and then I'll be doing some tech tips as well. That's what I'm going to call another series of videos. So uh, take a look at my playlists. Please like and subscribe. And uh, again, I'll be pumping out the videos and content for you to just learn about cool ideas like this or how to become a better angler things like that so thanks again for watching and we'll see you at the next video